beginning on Wednesday, the Disney Channel presents a brand new action and adventure series. Since time began, they have graced the seas with their beauty, magic, and intelligence. Ancient civilizations worship them, and the world has gazed upon them with mystery and wonder. The Disney Channel now presents the most famous and loved of them all, a dolphin called Flipper. I knew dolphins from watching the old Flipper television series when I grew up. The television series that was shot literally almost 30 years ago. There's a magic to that. It doesn't matter whether a child is three years old or 90 years old, when they look into a place where there's dolphins at, they go, Mommy, 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 there's Flipper. Remember the old Flipper series, the little bud, the red-headed kid with freckles? That's me, grown up, Dr. Keith Ricks, now marine biologist with his own research center. And he studies the ocean environment and dolphins. I think Keith has a really strong commitment towards marine life because of growing up around it. it, it he, he, you know, he lives it, he breathes it every day. Look, I don't want some hairball from the military telling me how to run a research institute. Who's that? The hairball. Dr. Pam Blundell is a marine biologist and a vet and a very straightforward lieutenant in the Navy. She loves dolphins very much and she loves the ocean. And um, she's in a quandary because um, all the things she wants, Keith Ricks has uh, experienced with his dolphin experiments. What else you want to know? I have been studying acoustic signal processing for the past three years. In one experiment, you leapfrogged everything I did. I would like to know how you pulled it off. They have a sort of a prickly, their prickly sort of affection and um, uh, magnetic energy that they have between each other. They're, they're drawn to each other and then they're repelled. Is something wrong? fine. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I don't want to talk about it. I think it's very disconcerting for both of them, you know. They can't help but to, to sort of egg each other on or poke at each other a little, and then they're thrown when, you know, they enjoy each other. <laughs> want to live dangerously? Always. Ready? Yes, go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Our two uh, adult leads are not married, they're friends. Uh, throughout the course of the series, they form a very strong bond. The two children, Mike and uh, Maya, are not related. Mike is uh, Pam's son, uh, and she's divorced. And Maya lives with her sister. Um, so these four people come together and form an extended family, basically. And through them, we learn the traditional family values. Uh, and through the adventures, we see them draw closer and closer together. and actually are a family. Oh, the kids, where are they? I'm sorry, the boat was empty. Don't worry, they're out there somewhere. We're gonna hold together. <laughs> There's Flipper, what's he doing here? He's trying to get our attention. Hey, hey, get out. Get out. Come on, Flipper, show us where they're at. There they are. Thank you, Flipper. My character, Mike, is at a, he's at a tough age. He's part kid, and he's also part grown -up. Mike loves to get in trouble, and he also has Maya to join him. Follow me. They're best friends, definitely. And they screw up together, but they do it together, you know? It's like they experiment on well, how far can we go, how far can we go, or, you know, can we do this, can we do that, and they do it together, and it's like a team effort, and they wouldn't dare do it without each other. I cannot believe we're cutting school again. Hey, I wasn't ready for the makeup test. You're a dreadful influence. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of teenage relationships go through different changes, and one minute, you know, they're friends, the next minute they're fighting, and the next minute they, they like each other. I've got a better idea. There. Maybe we should scoot a little closer. Our bodies need to keep us warm. How's that? Nice. Don't you? Yeah, nice. Mike, I'm a little scared. I'm right here. 
if anything in the world, she would love to be a mermaid and to swim through the water and live with the dolphins because the dolphins are pretty much her family. Don't worry, they'll be back. This is a magical place for dolphins, for mermaids too. There's no such thing as mermaids. Sure there are. You just have to do more than bang rocks together to see them. family, and the most important one really is Flipper. Uh, everything revolves around him. Flipper! <laughs> the biggest challenge of the series is keeping the stories exciting and engrossing and visual. We have all kinds of opportunities for storytelling on land, on the water, and certainly under the water, and we try to make the most of them. Hang on. I had a lot of fun doing the scenes. We've done a lot. Of, we're doing a lot of scenes on the water, obviously. We've got these great boats. We've been doing a lot of boat chases. I've been getting really good at uh, driving boats. So they let me do most of my own work with uh, all, the, all the stunts on the boats, and I'm, it's such a blast. So this is the most exciting stuff that I could possibly be doing. <laughs> we use three film units. We use our first unit, which uh, films the actors and the dialogue with sound. We then have kind of a standard action second unit that picks up, you know, some of the boat chases and, and the on-land uh, action sequences. And those two units are fairly typical in an action series. But we have a third unit, too. Uh, it's kind of a guerrilla unit. It's an underwater unit. And they go down and they do shots of, you know, the battles and things that take place underwater. And We're now going to um, move on to underwater mode. Uh. Oh, just for showing me. All right. The underwater unit faces some particularly acute challenges. It's a very risky way to kind of make television shows. We even use stunt doubles for our dolphins. Um, they're animatronic or robot dolphins. Uh, some of them are computer generated. And the reason we do that is out of concerns for dolphin safety. We never do anything to put the actual animals at any kind of risk. In one of the episodes, Mike is trapped underwater and Flipper has to come to the rescue. And what's a fairly dangerous scene. The, uh, the real hero of the day is our animatronic. I like the physical stuff. The physical stuff is my favorite. Hey! Ah! And I love the fight stuff. You know, being able to run and jump all over and just... You know, it's, it's, it's a real... It's a real fun thing to do. Today's fight scene that uh, we did with Dwight was a lot of fun. He's a great actor. And he never goes halfway. He's always full blast. 
Excuse me? Excuse me, sir. What do you want? I have some unfortunate news for you. I'm blowing up your boat. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've got about 30 seconds to get off. A green freak! He's a green freak. Here, yeah. <laughs> here is his insignia. My character's name is uh, Carl Moss, an eco-terrorist. So he has planted one of his famous time devices in a computer monitor. Just as he's about to get out, the head of the Institute arrives and foils the day. That's him! That's hey! Free! Hey, that's him, come on! I started out basically a dolphin skeptic. I thought, uh, you know, dolphins are very interesting creatures. They're probably much overrated. Um, I didn't expect at all the kind of experience that I had with them. I mean, there is definitely somebody home there. What keeps me going, coming back, is that uh, the animals just, they, they, they mystify me and they, and they make me feel good. And, when I have a day where it's very stressful and I'm really kind of uptight, I just, uh, I'll call Spike over at SeaWorld and say, can, yeah, can I come down for a little while? I want to see the animals. And I go down and visit them and they bring a piece to me. We have four dolphins that play the role of Flipper, Slim, Cyrus, um, Delbert, and Cheeky. And uh, this is Cyrus and Delbert in front of me now. And uh, then Slim and Cheeky will step in when these two here don't know um, certain behaviors. I'll um, bring the actors down to the pool and uh, but I won't let them hop straight in the water. I let them get used to the dolphins and let the dolphins get used to the actors. And, uh, and then eventually, we, we'd start letting the actors do a few little um, hand signals with the animals. And eventually, the actors are out in the water with them. We give them swims, stuff like that, and play with them. It's, we let the actors get really comfortable and let the dolphins get really comfortable with the actors. To meet the dolphins for the first time was magnificent. You can't put it any other way. It was just... Oh gosh, you just get this rush in your feel in your heart, and it's just this, all these feelings are going through. You're like, well, I'm scared, but I'm not, and you want to hug it and you want to kiss it. All these very cool feelings, all at one time, and your your spine gets tingly, and you hold on to the dolphin. It's so big and it's so enormous, yet it's so gentle, and I just hold on to the dorsal, and it just took me, and I I just I was scared, but I just trusted it. Dolphins seem more at ease in the water than, than people do on land. They just, they glide through the water. The dolphin would come and, and jump over my head, and I would, I would just look up and they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly when to jump, and they're very coordinated. You realize how insignificant you are compared to this animal. Working with dolphins is an amazing experience. And I, I always had the desire to swim with them. And before I got Flipper, I had scheduled a vacation to go and swim with dolphins. It was amazing to have them push you through the water at this incredible speed. And it was a spectacular experience. And they're very demanding, you know, they want you to play with them and pay attention to them and keep them busy, and if not, they're going to swim away. It's like hanging out with a little kid that just really wants to play, has a lot of energy, and, and, and you just try to keep up and keep them interested. <laughs> it's hard to, you know, be scared of them. They got this big smile on their face, you know, and it's, it's just a big toothy grin, and it, it, you just love them. They are very large animals, 800 pounds or so. They're giants. Flipper is about a lot of things. It's about action, it's about underwater, it's about family values, it's about all kinds of things. It's about what we learn of a world which we know less about than space. 
But it's also about the fact that there's something out there that you keep dreaming of and wanting and wanting to reach for. And Flipper holds the answer. The Disney Channel presents brand new adventures about the world's most famous dolphin. Flipper begins on Wednesday at 7, only on the Disney Channel.